Hi guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. Um, I'm a little annoyed. Um, sometimes the PS5, when you go to record things, it's not entirely clear. You'll see the top of the screen start showing the recording. So then, you know, you've got like an hour long to be able to do it. Um, and then when I got to this point here, I went to pause it so I could let the dog out. So I paused the recording and uh, it came up saying gameplay not being recorded. So I've just lost about half an hour's worth of footage. Um, to cover what we'd done, we'd gone to the round table hold, um, and Ensha, the one who is outside uh, the room that creepily doesn't talk, um, had attacked me. Now, it wasn't clear why, so I spoke to the master of the place, I forget his name, and he basically said it's because we have obtained this half of a medallion which we got from um, Albus, the Albinorak. Abenorik even. He then said that there is someone that we need to find who would know where the other half is. Which is the one that uh, Albus wanted us to bring it to. Latena. And he said it's to the a cave to the west of the Lasky, our ruins. So we went across, we found the lakeside crystal cave underneath here, went through, got to the slumbering wolf shack, spoke to her, she's given us her ashes so we can call her any time in battle. Um, much like the wolves that we have, um, and she will await us at the destination she described. Now, she mentioned north of the Erd Tree, there is a castle. Now, this is the one I'm thinking of, potentially, um, that she says there is the other half of the medallion there. Now, I don't know whether it could also be relating to this Erd Tree and the castle potentially up here, or at least this is what this entrance bit looks like. It probably is an entrance to a castle. Um, from there, I decided we'd just make it an exploration episode again, and we'll do the dragons after this. Uh, so we went to here, and I came down, come into here, carrying study hall. There is someone here. Um, I think it was Preceptor Miriam. Now she casts a lot and summons a lot, so I'm going to keep exploring. But yeah, this is unfortunately half an hour of lost footage, which was a real pain in my ass. But. Hopefully, we don't lose the footage this time. So, in fact, I will just do a check. Okay, we, we appear to be good. We hold map, therefore, could this be a high road? Well, there's no road above us, is there? It's true, though, the map does show a road. How bizarre. It's not an invisible road, is it? I'm not going to chance it. We'll head north instead towards the Erd Tree. Well, we'll head to like here and then we'll do some of this. Ow! What? That's rude. Whoever that was. Fire monks. Back to seeing them again, are we? Alrighty then. It's a giant. Hello. I 
wonder about this. Would this do a lot of damage to you? It would. Bam! It's still not bad. God damn. So much life. No, you're dead, though. Suck on that. No drop, though. Opportunity ahead. Ainsel Riverwell. Try behind and try attacking. Weaver. Trap ahead. I don't understand. Why is it always suffering? It's a good question. Oh, I forgot about that. We had that Siofra River well place, didn't we? We need to do that at some point. Ooh. Interesting. The Ainsall River. We will come back and do this and the Siofra River another time. So let's, let's travel back above ground and then we'll head up the hill. Totally forgot about that. Stopping to scrap you guys. We're just moving on. Oh, and there's another brace. Oh, and another fire monk's camp. I wonder what this one will have. What the hell is that? Hell is that? Oh god! What on earth? That's one freaky looking thing. I'm just setting fire to everything. What's wrong with you? Jesus. Fire blossom. Great. I expected that would do more. Yeah, fire boys after this.
Unleash other boys. Try and move off. I like his mace. His mace is pretty cool. Okay, we killed everything. Flame, cleanse me. Still no item. It's true. No items for you, boys. Smothering butterfly. Eight. Eight? Someone been eating them? Something. Alleviates build up and kills poison and scarlet rot. Does this hurt though? Subtle burns, a reminder that they must fear the flame. So you hurt yourself to get rid of the rot. And... I mean, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. It's like a different way of going about healing yourself, but if it works, it works, right? Ooh. That just leads back to the shack. I didn't realise you could do that crossing line. Cool. Excuse me? Problem. Rude. Briars of sin. Oh, there was something special about you? Is that like an incantation or something? Oh, there you go. It's a sorcery. Seven storms from a world of own blood. Cast up to three times. Where is the cast of the forms since creating a spiral blood forms? Hmm. Okay then. Sure. Whatever you say. I still feel like there's so much to do and like I've, I've done so much like recording already for this game and it, it's I've barely even scratched the surface it seems. sword. Some text no doubt for us. Second Leonian War. No victory for the golden nor for the moon. No prize but atonement to the birth of a vine. Whatever you say my guy. Or girl. Whoever you are. Uh, yeah. Hello, Church of Vows. Atone? You celestial do to receive absolution. No. Teacher, oh teacher. I don't even have celestial do. Gold sewing needle, a golden tailoring tools. Okay. What's so special about them? The demigod attire. Demigod alteration. Okay, if you had like armor of like something. Oh, what the hell? You are tarnished, aren't you? Hello. I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Miriel. Miriel. Steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. That's Do fine, my guy. The origin? of this place, how it came to be known as the Church of Vows. I don't know. It is a shame, but who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, 
to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Earth Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Cool. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. Oh, sorcery and incantations. Blessings boom grants blessing to self and nearby allies. Gradually restoring HP. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. Okay. Buy it, why not? You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Karian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort. Hey, I bet I bet she's feeling pretty better that he left her. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Interesting. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Earth Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Okay. Oh. Is that... You wish to know more of Lady Renala? She is queen, head of the Karian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. In the okay. end, Lady Renala was left alone, cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan, a fame when he glimpsed the and as such. Magic, glint blade, and carrying greatsword. 13,000, Jesus. Uh, not sure we had that on search on us, mate. Start. Daily another two thousand on top of that, so we're we're not that far off. Interesting though. So Radigan became King Consort. In the second album world. I'm guessing he'll be like a natural end point for the game. Okay, so we found a church up here. Uh, church of Vows. I don't know what this absolution thing is about, to be fair, but. I mean, I suppose we could try. I don't think we have Celestial Day, it's not a call, but. Oh, 
get anything from climbing up here? Good luck or good luck, I don't know. Bait. That shed's not there, is there? Mm, don't look like it. Hey, we're climbing. Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Let's not get too distracted. There's another air tree nearby. I'm imagining this one might be dim more difficult than the prior. But who knows? Damn, look at that. That place is just monstrous. Jeez. Oh, it's another one of those um, mausoleums we found on the, the legs. You have to clean their legs up a bit. Oh, there's another one there, another one there. Jesus. Each one can only be used once, though. So when you have, like, a boss soul, so, like, the axe... You can get the axe of Godric from Godric the Grafted Soul. Or you can get the Grafted Dragon Arm that he has. Uh, I think you'd only be able to pick one from how I've understood it, and then you'd have to go to a mausoleum to create his soul again. So it's best just to hold off, I think, and then you can create a soul again, and then you can have the two. Oh, hello. Huh? Oh, it's almost cast in there. Oh, yeah! Snipers. Just what I wanted. <gasps> Scared you. I like how they roll away. It's kind of funny. Uh, so there is the path under here which we haven't looked at. It's very dark. Spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Let's keep it going. What's going on down here? Anything? Nothing. That was where we went before to get down to another river. Well, I suppose we didn't go behind it and explore. Any caves? Anybody? No? Hello, bears. Whee! Oh, you bears. You funny, trying to chomp me. It's all a good joke. Right. Yeah, we killed a giant outside of there, which is good. A giant, a golem, they're golems. I just think giant because they're big. The giants are like the fleshy boys. That are also big. Giant stone thing, golem. They're not the same. Yeah, maybe next uh, episode, I think, then. We'll do the Sea of the River. No, 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 no. I don't like fighting those things. They are damn terrifying. Hello? Might I ask why you're spawning out of there? Are you going to drop something? I just don't want to wake the room bags, mate. They're mental. Okay, so that was 
kind of pointless. Alright then. Good stuff. Good to know. What's right here? Oh, this looks suspect. Stow sword key. Not suspect. We like that. Man, look at that. I mean, we're looking all the way down at this from even further away. Like, god damn. Incredible. See, so far. I don't know how well this would play on, like, a PS4 or something, to be fair. I actually do need to go back and finish um, the Platinum on the Demon Souls, to be fair, at some stage. The first playthrough actually largely wasn't that hard. I don't know if that's just because I have the previous Souls game experiences. I liked the bosses. I never got to play Demon Souls back in the day. But I will say, yeah, I, I did thoroughly actually enjoy the bosses in general. They were very good fun. And a lot of times it's like quite obvious what their weakness was. Like the blind monk, for example, I think it was. He, It's obvious what the point of the weakness is. But like, if if you don't realize, you just charge in, you start swinging, and he just, he'll absolutely slap you about. Long way up the hill. What are you? Well, you're dead. I can tell you that much. Thin beast bones. I don't know. He looks pretty hefty to me. He should be dropping hefty beast bones. Old palace ruins. Oh god. Ow. What the damn hell? We're in some ruins apparently. Don't look like it on the map. There's one there, there's a guy there. God damn snipers, man. What the fuck? Made a hash of that. Yeah, so those snipers are a problem. They hit very, very hard. I guess we'll go back to the Stake America. Whatever's closest. That's all that matters. Oh, power through it. I mean, I can't summon anything. Oh god, I've just spawned, man! Oi! Chill yo beans! God, this is dark, isn't it? That's the enemy. I think they're still trying to shoot at me as well. Kind of same this. Nuts. Maybe there's a way over the top and behind them. Hmm. 
It's very dark in there, doesn't it? It's like right down the bottom of the earth tree as well. Alright, well, we'll get back in there, I guess. Oh, big statue. Death. Old codger, old codger. Here's all. Oh, that's one there. Can we do anything about this thing? No. So we've got to take out those snipers realistically. I did not know you were there. Guys are full on, aren't they? Not a chance to do a guard counter whatsoever. like by some archer now. So this is where I died before. You're an archer as well, aren't you? Jesus Christ, mate. I don't even know my way around these damn ruins. Haven't figured that out yet. It's gonna be like some if it's a ruins, there's normally like a stairway then, but these are kinda of different though in the way it's laid out and everything. I'm not even sure. Okay. Kill him. Yeah, we came up here initially. Underneath the bridge, and we can go this way. There we go. They attack quite fast, that's the thing for the big axes. Leggings and jawbone, that's cool. Got their axe. So 
Is there anything with a fireball? Considering it's damage output and everything, it doesn't exactly do that much for how long it takes to throw it as well. Destroyed me. Okay. So we killed this one then. I'm not really sure the relevance of doing all this because this just takes us back to where we were before. We killed those. We've been up over the top there because we came from behind at this time. Is it all just to get the greys? Seems like a bit of a shoddy ruin. Hmm. Grace. I suppose the runes do go further back here, actually. What about this? Visions of love. They have a little cheeky cuddle, you know. using the wing scythe there, a little ghost of him. I'm interested in the wing scythe, I'm just not sure how good it will be. Ah, oh, it just leads up to after one of these. Okay. Right. You're not very happy, are you, mate? Anything under here? I'm not seeing anything. For caves and, and what else. Do you like a good explore? No. Okay. I'm not sure how we bring you down because we can't clean your feet. To be fair, it doesn't have a bell on the bottom of this one. Maybe I have to like jump on it on the side or something. Nope. Okay. You're a very, very angry man. To be fair, it came up saying there are ruins, but I've not got a marker on the map for them, so they can't be like a proper ruins we've seen before then. And we've managed to find another grace already. Another one jumping up in there. Not really sure why. Starwart Horn Charm. Raises robustness. Robust a nest. Oh, this is a bad idea. There's nothing around here. Fine. We'll head back up. Just 
don't shoot me in the ass with some of those magic arrows they go. Two of them probably kill me. Hello, mister. Don't mean you any harm. We're just chilling. Just chilling around here. It's all good. Let's go like a little force next to this other tree. More of those minor tool types. Mm. Oh, that didn't do it. So we kind of run around there, out of here. Map on map, why is it always lying? I don't know. Just because it is, I guess. Damn, we're high up. It's going to be a shame that's going to say something like about the view. Praise the Elden Ring, in short, God. Yeah, cool. I'm not convinced there's anything else for us up here, apart from continuing on towards the Erd Tree. My main concern is the getting shot in the ass. Because that just leads back down to here? Did we go here? I don't think we did. Let's head down. Big bear. Oh no, not big bear. We don't like big bear. Ow. Oh. Fuck off. No big bears. Not allowed. I know, I know you're feeling wolves, just get out of there. You don't want to fight that bear. Bear's gonna ruin you. Okay, we'll head up. Let's get to that earth tree.
some throwing daggers. Hmm. Yeah. I suppose I could throw my pots on as well for throw. Don't know how much it's really going to do to him, considering it uses how he attacks itself. Oh wait, the fireball does more. Why am I using a goddamn stupid thing? Of course he's weak to fire. He's a goddamn train. Need that stamina, baby. Angle away and then angle back at the last second as you throw. Done. Easy claps, boys. This will be a good way to finish off the episode. Collapse! Magic shredding, cracked here, lightning shredding, holy shredding. Guessing it'll increase your defenses against those things quite drastically. Right, well, um, we'll end the episode there. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.